what is good youtube today we'll be ranking all the scream movies and like this series is so iconic and just amazing so let's just start with scream pansy ass mama's boy fuck uh, fucking hit me with the phone dick scream is an honestly a near perfect movie i mean it is one of the most iconic movies it has sydney prescott Stu maher billy loomis like it is just incredible so basically it follows where um sydney prescott is the main character and her mother passed away well when it takes place one year after her death and then basically basically the whole cast and crew get chased by by one mass killer but then it's revealed to be two their suspicions about the boyfriend um billy, um, billy loomis being the murderer and then later on it's found out that billy loomis is the murderer and, oh my god let me just tell you the kills are okay they're, they're nothing too crazy the chasings are amazing though this whole series does have some good chasings but then later on falls off of that but it is just an amazing movie Billy Loomis and Stu Maher are amazing. One of them, I think um, Stu Maher is literally going to be uh, in the new Financial Freddy's movie as Scott, uh, no, Scott Cofton, that's the creator, as um, Mike Afton. And dude, they are amazing killers. I love the end scene where like, where like Stu Maher gets stabbed and gets betrayed by Billy Loomis. Such a great scene. Oh no, no, he doesn't get betrayed. He, um, he gets a TV thrown in his head. What am I talking about? Sorry, that was just so wrong, but... He is just such a great character. Overall, this is just a near perfect movie in my opinion. Like I could watch this like, like anytime I want. Like, like I never get bored of this movie. Now on to Scream 2. <laughs> Scream 2 now to me, it's kind of mid. I can't even lie. It's kind of mid in my opinion. Like, I don't know, something about it to me is just mid. This is basically Scream 1, but now in college, after, I think it's like literally again, like a year after the killings happened of Scream 1. And this is a new cast and characters, and I think this one still has, so obviously it still has Sydney. Sydney, and the killers are, I think this time, Billy Loomis' mom. And then I think, uh, it's some like weird theater guy. I can't remember who, who the other guy is, to be honest. But in my opinion, it is a little weird, I can't even lie. The plot is pretty good. It does suck that I think in this one, um, God, the the freaking guy, the guy that predicts the like what's gonna happen in the movies dies like, in the van. I think that's what happens. Chase scenes are still amazing. I think it's iconic for the house. No, no, this takes place in the theater. Bro, what am I on today? Oh my goodness, freaking forgetting. I literally just watched these recently, and I'm really forgetting. Overall, though, this is a pretty mid movie, but it is also really enjoyable. It's not like bad mid. It's like all right, this is pretty mid, but top tier mid in my opinion. All right, now on to Scream 3. All right, Scream 3 is bad to me. I didn't like this. This is the first one with, I think, only one killer, which is out of nowhere, out of the blue, Sydney Prescott's brother. Like, what? And then, like, I think he said, like, like, like he, like, he, like, he made up the thing about, like, Billy Loomis being with Billy, um, like Billy Loomis' dad being with Sidney Prescott's mom, and it's like, what? And then also there's a part where like, where like he acts dead inside of a, I think it's like a cooler or a freezer, and like, someone checks his pulse and he's like, what? He's clearly breathing. You could also feel his heartbeat. What do you mean that he's not dead? Some of them are cool, like where I think someone like pulls like the carpet, like, where someone falls off, like falls off the balcony and like cracks their head or something like that. That's a cool death, but just, not it and i think there's like barely any of the like, chasings in this as well i know that they teased um what is his name uh, the sheriff he they teased his death i mean because like he doesn't really die he just gets smacks in the head with the, with the with the handle of the knife it is an interesting take only having one killer in this movie and i gonna for me when i was first watching this like the first time like long time ago i really didn't notice it but then watching it a second time again i did kind of notice it it's really bad to me like in my opinion just the one killer doesn't work and it's like sydney prescott having a brother out of nowhere makes absolutely no sense to me like where was he this whole time then you know it's like what just reintroducing this new character out of nowhere also uh dude, what's that one character where like where like he was accused of killing and he was in prison for such a long time and then like he ended up not being the killer i think he shows up in this movie and honestly because i uh he is pretty, he's also pretty good in these series as well. I can't remember what, he's, what his name is, but he's all, also really good. I can't even lie. He's a good actor. And I like him in the, in the Scream franchise. Now, let's get on to Scream 4. To Scream 5. This isn't I am funny, under the Amber. water. Please help me. Or just 
Scream. I don't know why they just they didn't just call it Scream Five. But um, this movie is great. People didn't like it. I don't know why they didn't like the um, Jenna Tega's sister's acting for some weird reason. I do not know why. It is honestly pretty good. Like it is really good in my opinion. The killers are amazing. Um, Huey and I don't know that chick's name. Like the villains are really good. Acting's terrific. Plot is basically the two killers wanting to be famous as Billy Loomis and um and um Stewie Maher, which is honestly fine. Like it's nothing too crazy as a story. Acting's good. Killings are great. I am actually surprised they killed. I think what is it Duffy? I think like like the um, officer like that. I'm honestly surprised they killed him. Like, like, like he's one of like the legacy characters so i'm really surprised they killed him overall great movie sydney prescott this is the last time she's in the movie like, in this franchise sadly and killers are great how they how the killers die in this movie are honestly pretty crazy like one of them gets burned to death and i think the other one just gets stabbed multiple times most of the kills are all right but jenny ortega and the sister play pretty good roles in this as well now on to scream six <laughs> you got a problem here guy we've been trying to contact you regarding your extended warranty a hot take but it is bad in my opinion it is terrible acting is still good acting is still great in this movie but why some of the kills are cool but okay i'm saying this the killers throughout the movie are obvious are clearly obvious like you can tell it's the police officer and the daughter like one okay like one like like the daughter of the police officer do, they, do you not realize that like 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 it's a fake this like there's other people there on the scene not just them like, like, how did, like, okay, I'm not even going to get into that. And then also, the ending pissed me off so much. You have a pistol, and you decide to just throw it at them. Yes, it has no ammo, but it's like, what? It is pissing me off so much. This ending is just so bad. Kills, though, are great. I can't lie. Acting is great. Acting, I feel like, in these movies are just, like, hands-on amazing. They try to bring back chase scenes, but it kind of doesn't work. I think, like, with Gail Weathers, they have it. They're too scared to kill her off, though. Even though I feel like it would have made sense for her to die. God, it's that one chick's freaking girlfriend where she like climbing the ladder and then she just falls to her death. Like that is gruesome. Like you can see like a like literally like a crack in her skull. That right there is gruesome. I know they're making another movie, so hopefully that one is better. But this is my ranking of Scream movies. I hope you guys liked this and enjoyed it. And if you guys did, please leave a like, a subscribe, and comment down below what's your favorite Scream movie and what's your least favorite. Bye bye.